Today I'm going to show you the best value for money Casio of all time. Let's get into it. Yes, and welcome to the Mad Watch Collector Show. So already this year, I've given you my best budget Casio, which is the W86, a sporty budget beater that you need to get your hands on before Casio discontinue. What I wanted to give to you today is the definitive bang for buck, value for money, all round super duper Casio that if you are only to buy one in your lifetime, this would be it. Now, some of you out there I know are Casio freaks like me. But I know there is a lot of people out there that think that digital watches are sort of toys, maybe kids watches, and basically throw away rubbish. <laughs> so today's show is dedicated to everybody that is either looking for the best value Casio or are looking to be proven wrong that Casio aren't worth it. A lot of Casio nerds out there are going to know the nickname of this watch more than the reference number. But this superbly affordable Casio, which you can buy for under £30 in the UK, is the personification of value for money in 2023. But after owning and wearing nigh on to a hundred Casios out there, I've decided I can't leave it any longer. And I'm that excited about this reference, I've bought myself two of them. <laughs> Get on with it, TMWC. All right. Are you Casio value for money ready? Let's go. And ladies and gentlemen, it's the AE1200-WH, the sophisticated colour reference of the Casio Royale. Phew, okay, well, this has been done to death by reviewers, but this is the Seiko Sports 100 came out in 1983, and it starred in Octopussy, a Roger Moore, I love Roger Moore, a Roger Moore James Bond. This AE1200 by Casio looks like it. It's not called Casio Octopussy, obviously because one of Ian Fleming's books was called Casino Royale. Casino Royale, Casio Royale. Yeah? I'm so tired of explaining why it's called a Royale. I refuse to call it a Royale from now on. And before we talk about any specifications and sizes, this is, on first impressions, a Casio that looks far more expensive than the actual price. It looks very complex, and it looks like there is a lot going on, doesn't it? The other thing you have to realise straight away is there is beautiful symmetry with this case. Definitely not the dial. But we've got two giant stainless steel pushers either side of the case. The case is better bezel is eight-sided and definitely reminds me of the G-Shock Square. This is a bulky boy for Casio. This is not an F91. This is a watch with dimensions that will please almost every wrist in the world. From the 42 millimeter case, the 45 lug to lug. Now apart from those stainless steel pushers and the stainless steel case back, every other part of the case is made from resin. Some reviewers online have said that this could get scratched up. Let it be known that I'm a tennis coach by day. I've worn this a lot and I can't see any scuffs or scratches at all. The screen is only protected by an acrylic resin crystal, which to be fair, if you've got Polywatch handy, you can rub this with that compound and get rid of any deep scratches. A quick note about those pushers, they are damn pushable, aren't they? Finger friendly, we have to call those. And if you look closely at them, they even stick out at an angle to make it even easier to press down on them. Something again, I don't think any reviewers have ever mentioned. By far the best pushers in the Casio game. Um, could you just click that like button, please? It really helps the channel. Thank you. We've got a resin polymer strap. It's not going to win any strap awards, but it's definitely going to be comfortable on your wrist. The whole watch weighs 39 grams. So if you're not used to wearing a watch, this one's ideal. Or if you play sport and don't want a watch weighing you down, also ideal. <laughs> So at the minute, I've told you the case structure, sizes and weight, and the looks. To me, this thing is already worth 30 quid, isn't it? Okay, let's look at the face. Dial time. And there is a lot of detail here, isn't there? First, we've got to go to the top left, and it's a modular cop pit style readout with an analog clock face. Printed minute markers going around that sub dial with the faux rivets in the corner. There's a lot of detail in that top left. Move to the right and you get a small rectangular screen that is basically your notifications. It notifies you whether you've got the alarm on, the timer on, the stopwatch. It's an underused screen. I probably would get rid of that and make a bigger map because for me this part is a bit gimmicky. Don't get me wrong, it's very cool and I do feel like I'm some sort of international spy 
spy with a very pricey gadget on his wrist, Cassio have had to use a little bit of artistic license because I've never seen a more squished world than this one. Doesn't really get mentioned a lot on reviews, but just take a good look at that map. The last window at the bottom is another treat for the eyes. It's not just a rectangle. It's the same shape as the cars I used to draw when I was five, minus the wheels, but it's a really clear screen of the time, day, and date in the top right. So all these segments together does make this watch very interesting. And if you are a non-watch person and you saw that on the wrist, you'd have to take a second glance, wouldn't you? Right, let's go deep and really talk about the functionality of this watch. Then after that, I'm sure I've won you over. Remember, 30 pounds. So this Casio uses the module 3299. It has a 10 year battery life. I've heard it go on for longer. This is a watch you can take out at any time of the year and know it's gonna be working. This module has an accuracy of plus to minus 30 seconds per month, which is the same accuracy as a superlative chronometer Rolex. 30 pounds. Also, I forgot to mention, this watch is 100 meters water resistant. So not only is it flipping accurate, it's gonna last for 10 years till you need a new battery, which will only cost you three or four quid. You can basically do anything with water with this watch and it will be perfectly fine. So functionality. The big feature of this watch is the world time. 31 time zones to choose from, from 48 cities. Now what is really cool about this watch is I can change that bottom screen to a different time in the world while still having my home time shown in that any digi clock in the top left. So convenient and this makes it a beautiful GMT watch perfect for on your holidays. Not only that but this watch gives you five alarms, a countdown timer, a stopwatch to a one hundredth of a second and that my friend is a hell of a lot for your money. The top left pusher gives us our illuminator backlight. It's not an electro luminescent. Two LED bowls from the bottom right and left corner gives this amber color quite satisfying i honestly think casio have never given you that much for so little money that looks this good now before i go into the wearability of this watch i'm going to do something that no other reviewer has ever done on the youtubes i'm going to unbox this to you right now not looking down at a desk table you are going to be seeing my expressions whilst I'm opening this box. Are you ready? This has never been done before. Here we go. So I have bought the AE-1200WHD-1AVEF. Rolls off the tongue. Are we ready? Here we go. So first, whip, there you go. Lovely jubbly. And we get this. Ready? Oh! You get a lovely sponge thing that you could turn into a ball. I'll throw it. That's nice. And here we go, I love that plastic. You get this plastic with all these um, Casios. Are we ready? Da, 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 da. Look at this baby. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm gonna do something that's never been done before too, is I'm gonna unpeel right now with my face looking at it. Ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh. Look at that. Upside down, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> Stuck. There we go. Ho, ho, ho. I hate these tags. I hate these things. Ah! Dentist. Yes. Give me the watch. Get into the watch. Get this string off. <laughs> so this was the reference that came out in 2012. This goldy one came out in 2020, but I wanted to get one with the bracelet. They are absolutely exactly the same. So the only difference is the color of the case. And with this reference, you get this stainless steel bracelet. And yes, it is jingly jangly, and you could use it as a percussive instrument for a local folk band. Hello. So on my six and a half inch wrist, these Casios have wrist presence. There's a lot of people out there that don't like Casios because they're just too small. Let's not talk about G-Shocks. Well, this one is wrist friendly for absolutely everyone. I don't think this looks too small. I think this looks almost spot on. There are others you can get. There is a black resin one. There's also a tactical green and black one. These watches go down a storm in the modern world. You can wipe away text, add different color screens. <laughs> 
So there you go, the Casio AE1200. Don't mention Royale. In 2023, with inflation just going through the roof, electric bills, heating bills, food bills going sky high, you can still get a Casio at an insanely great price of $29.99. By the way, I bought this in Argos. Yeah, I love Argos. It's a watch snob killer. Because for 30 pounds, to have a watch like this, packed with this much in it, you are not gonna find a better one. And I love this watch so much. I got two now. <laughs> Here it is, my wife's thoughts on the AE1200, the amazing bang for buck, value for money Casio. <laughs> oh God, not another Casio. I don't mind this actually. I think it's the gold that saves it. Looks a bit like a submarine sonar thing, but it's still a kid's watch, isn't it? It's a must have for all Casio nerds. And for anyone just starting to get into Casio watches, this is the one for you. Yes, it doesn't have multiband six and it's not solar powered, but if you want that, you gotta pay a bit more. And that is why I think this is phenomenal. And talking of phenomenal, why don't you check this show out? <laughs> this is also phenomenal. <laughs> Go on, click it, it's amazing. Click it, come on, I haven't got all day. Click, click, click it!